the next day. Um, the wind's kind of blowing. We're supposed to get thunderstorms later, but hopefully I have four or five hours. I'll settle for two or three before um, I have to go, but I hope I can get at least a few hours in up here, and I'm hoping for four or five. I'm going up to the spot I was at in my last video. If you didn't check that out, I'll put it up at the left on the end. But we're going to go up here and look for Indian artifacts. Plus, there's stuff up into the 1800s and layers. Maybe an old house or something. So we're going to go check it out. Later. What a beautiful day, huh? How can you argue with that? Best thing ever, being out here by yourself. Nobody running their mouth. Just birds chirping. This is beautiful, look at that. Later. All right, I'm not up to the good spot yet with all the glass, 1800s glass and stuff. I found the Adena in here in that real nice Burton looking thing, which it might even be a Kirk. I'll have to see what else comes out of here. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit here first since it's on the way. There's still stuff to find here, I can guarantee it. I'll get back. If I see anything. First screen of the day here, well, I didn't even see that. There's a pe little piece of rub down hematite that's exhausted. Right there's another flake. You gotta really look through these screens, but right there's a tip. Tip off a point and another flake. First screen, see there's a flake of black. You have to just pull this stuff all the way out of these screens, pretty much, and look at everything. Cause some of them bird points will fit on a penny and they can be around behind a rock after four washes and you never see them you've got to really look it's pretty time consuming but man this is fun later you can probably hear that in the background there's a huge barge going by just pl plowing down the river loaded up it's gonna really put the waves in but i got my first piece of pottery off this place look at that shard probably shell tempered it's the first one i found on this place I don't see nothing else, but I'm getting like something in every screen. You know, there's another piece right there. Two pieces of pottery. Man, they're little ones are really break up. I don't see any more. Lay that. Look at this. How many baby turtles does this make? Look at this one. He's real active. Another one, folks. And I've seen hundreds of them in the water but they're so fast and they just like take off look at this guy oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm gonna get a picture of this old boy so we can put it in the cover image and then we'll let him go man baby leatherback turtle i'm not gonna hurt you buddy hold on i'll get back when i release him all right i'm gonna go over here and put him in a safe spot up in here by these rocks and stuff so he can have a good place to hide there he goes back in there glad i could share that with you later oh, man i just got a heartbreaker a heartbreaker oh the base is gone from it do you see this it's one of the i knew these riverton points were here look at this thing look at the micro serrations on this it's treat it's like heat treated flint ridge that'll be translucent that would have been a year maker for one of these that is the finest edge work you will ever see it's a true bow and arrow projectile just the it's that's might even be worth restoring look at that big red spot on it oh that's just disgusting well now you see this with the good camera where you can really see some detail. Look at these microserations, and you can see it right there, the translucency. This is a Riverton point. It's a true bow and arrow point. A lot of them have that base snapped off. I think they broke when they were shot. But look at that. I mean, it's really, I got rained out. You can see over there. Let's see if, well, I'll show it to you. There you can see, look at that edge work. I'll show you under light too next in the house. It's just stained up Flint Ridge, but man, that would have been just a killer. It's a shame that's broke. Later. All right, you can see just jewel grade material. Look at the translucency on that. 
That is a daggone shame. This would have been a month maker. Just the material, the fine edge work, the thinness. It, oh, that! but that's the way it goes. Later. It's going to be day of the heartbreakers. I'll show you some of this stuff on cleanup. There's a piece of jewel grade flint ridge. It's like the base off something. It's all blown up. The material is just sick. It's like candy. Later. Stuff in here. I just got a nice scraper and oh, another another busted one. Right here's the scraper. It's awesome flint ridge. It's worked all up in here. It's like a little square one. Woo. That's decent. See, it's worked all along here. That's cool. And, ah, oh, this stinks. This is broke. That's two nice points. Snapped off. That's probably a real nice Madison. I've found four or five other pieces of pottery, too. Man, that would have been a smoker. Look how nicely it's made. Daggone it. That would have been two nice points already. That bird point would have just been amazing. That's a shame, but this is how it goes. A lot of the stuff's broke. Sometimes. Well, here's that little knife that was in the screen with that tip. Um, look at that material off this place. It's stained up, but you can see out looking at it like that with a light source. That stuff is sick. And here's that, there's that tip. It's even nice material. Both of these pieces were in the same screen. Look at that material up close. That's too bad. That's a kind of a cool knife. See the work on it there. It's a little scraper, but the material really makes it. Look at that edge on it. They were doing something with that. Legs, I have done it! All right. We're getting a nice cross section of stuff. That last point, you know, I'm, I'm just gradually moving my way up the shore towards that honey hole I was in in my last video. And that black point I found in my last video, I said, well, I found pentagonals on this stretch. And it might be pentagonal because I just got a smoker pentagonal. Let's get down here slow. This is just a day maker. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's got a hanging barb. Do you see it? It's black too. Scraped it. The, I mean, there's, let me see. Well, I got the water muddied up. The base clay. Then there's this much stuff on the base clay. That Well, you can see the base clay right here. See it? Right here. See the cracked up rock on it? Coming out of this cut bank. Everything that's come out of this banks, when the waters come up and hit this, look how good this is all undercut everything that was in this bank's falling here then the waves have hit it and when the waves come out have sucked it out see you can see cracked up indian rock there could be arrowheads right here an inch deep right here's the base clay there could be a point laying right here covered but oh man all them broken ones that heartbreaking bird point and i've been here an hour and 15 minutes do you see this point this is just a killer folks see it now do, 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 do. Oh man, that's a pentagonal. It doesn't have quite the pentagonal shape, but that's what it is. You can see the resharpening on it. it. A lot of them will go up here and then into the top, but man, is that nice. Just lightly ground, that's why it's kind of got the base on it as that black one I found last night. Same material. You know, that one I found last night might be the dart point. This is pentagonal knives. Pentagonals in a high are called a high of pentagonal knives. I'll show them in a book and we'll do the age on this. It's a mid archaic cultural period piece, but man, that's nice, folks. Wow. Wow. I'm going to go for some more. Heck, I probably almost got a video now. All right, here's what this black piece is. Um, you can see the barbs are similar to this. Not all of them have the pentagonal shape, but you can see the resharpening. See the, how it goes in here? You can kind of see a, a place where it was resharpened right in here. But they are mid archaic, 6500 to 4000 BP, which stands for before present. So 6500 to 4000 years old. 
in that time frame. And you know, I have many classic ones that just don't have the pentagonal shape. You can kind of see it there on that one edge. Not all of them have this pentagonal shape, but that's what that is. I'd look pentagonal sites and I don't know, two out of 10, two out of 12 maybe, or like this. That's a pretty good find. You can see the barbs and the notches are just exactly, say, it's just sharpened a little different. And that just depends on the guy making it. So another good archaic find. And the second half of the hunt, man, I got rained out today, but man, I got another great video started. Grooved axe stuff. Uh, I found a broken Adena that had been over four inches long. Another nice point. Just tons of stuff. I wish I could still be there. But it's looking still rough. Later. I'm going to finish this little section in here around this tire. But I got another artifact. It looks like a nutting stand. Let me see. Yeah, see the hole right there with that little pebble in it? Oh, very nice one. Look, all right. Man, this is nice. I like these small ones. It, you know, it's not used for cracking nuts. It's all roughed up in there. They're called pitted stones. See, people call them nutting stones, cup stones. You know, you could prime an antler billet off a white-tailed deer with that if you was napping. They use billets and hammer stones. You can see people, if you type in flint, flint napping videos, in billet, B-I-L-L-E-T, I -L -L -E -T, I think, you'll see people doing it traditionally. And you could hold this and prime the tip of that billet, but there's other theories on them too. No one really, I've not seen any definitive proof of what they are, but that's sweet. Um, this might be, I think I'm just going to do this the last find on this video. Um, I'm going to do an update on Squirrel Man. He's doing much better. I'm going to go up to where I was at in my last video where I was finding all the house foundations coming out. There's arrowheads there, plus bottles you know from about here up to that place i found bases of pawn old bottles that you know are old old um real beautiful ones but they've all been broke and i was finding glass up there and i found a marble plus i found a real nice arrowhead and you heard me in that video i said this i found pentagonals and i just got one that might be what that is but it's more of the dirt that goes along with that pentagonal knife but there'll be some more clips up next. I'm going to go start another video with all the rest of the finds later. I'm up here. I just got here. First screen of the day. I got a nice black point in it. So make sure you subscribe. This will be to be continued for sure. I'm going to find probably three or four points in here. Nick here. Big Ron's been running around on the floor. He's doing better. He walks good for a little bit. See, he just walked there and then he'll get his foot caught and he gets tired but he's walking he's getting in the tell him Ron it's big Ron he's doing these exercises this is the second time he's been in I just had to heat the water up a little bit he's been in once he's doing good folks he's doing a lot better look he's beefed up in weight tell him you're swimming better and tell them you like it. You like the bathtub. See, he's moving his back legs good now. He's paddling them and tell them you're doing rehab and you're healing up. <laughs> what a dandy. Well, I wanted to show you part two of this video will be coming in a couple days. I might even try to add some more clips to it. It really thunderstormed. I'll give you a preview of that next after these clips of what happened. Well, I had to cut it short today, or man, I'd had one of the best days ever. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> you getting tired out already? All right, folks. Later. Look here in his towel after two stints of water rehab. Tell him. Tell him, squirrel man, you're all whipped out and you're going to go have a a grape and go to sleep. He did good today. He's really gaining strength. Tell him you did like 25 laps both times in the bathtub and you're moving both your legs. You're even walking on the ground some. You're going to make a full recovery. Look at this good boy. He wants to get snuggled all up after he gets wet. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed.
Well, I told you the rain was coming. I just made it to my truck and had to get gas. Woo! Glad I didn't get stuck out in the river on this. You can hardly even see. Look at that.